Well, bam, welcome back to this hobby of ours. I am your host, D. I'm seated next to my West Coast bestie, G Money. What up, G? What's up, D? Uh, another episode of Wild Card Wednesday, where we pick kind of a wackadoo, a wild card watch to introduce you to, something that you may not know is out there. And what we have here is the Omega Speedmaster. Let me get my spectacles on. Mark V. I was going to say Speedmaster Pro. I think this is in mm. maybe in the Pro line in terms of specs. Huh. But it's a Nod Duck. Uh, it is called odd. the Teutonic Turbo Thick because it more or less has the Lemmy inside, the Le Mans 5100. But it's got the Omega version, which is the Omega 1045. Same, uh, same movement. It has a 24 hour uh, at 12 o'clock that is tied to the main hour, day date. And like most German watches, they want you to die on a Tuesday. Uh, that is the abbreviation for the day Tuesday mm. from the Germans. And a neat watch, mm. uh, I think it's late 80s, not somewhere in the 90s, uh, brutalistic. They also make a, a Fitty version, which is much, which <laughs> fits better, the Fitty huh. Valjou. Because, uh, you know, that, that Le Mania can be thick. Yeah, that is a big, big yeah. one, too. Big one. Yeah, I mean, it's nice because it tapers, so you don't quite notice it as much when you yeah. look at it from the side. Um, some of the other ones, uh, they, huh, what was the one we looked at the other day? Which one? I don't know, it was big also. Uh, my camera eye. Yes, the Panerai was a big, Why don't you big love baby. that watch? It's nice. It's nice. But it's a big, thick baby. And it... it 14. It makes no bones about being a thick baby. Yeah. And this kind of... Since it kind of has like a... You, you know, mean it kind of like a... Like almost like a flying saucer. Yeah. I mean, it does look like a flying saucer yeah. for sure. But it's... it's That's a space band watch. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It, it uh, This has a 60-minute uh, sub-dial for your chronograph. Which I believe my moon watch is a 30, if I'm not mistaken. You know, if I don't have it in front so, of me, I don't know. Yeah. But, but it's, it's the it's, same layout as your uh, Porsche design. It's the exact same movement. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, would be, huh? Because you can swap those parts. Ask me how I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's hard to get, it's hard to get some Le Mania 5100 parts because they don't make them. Yeah. So, occasionally, you can get an Omega 1045 part. Mm. Uh, to go into the movement if you need an obscure spring lever uh, base plate whatever because right, right. I've got a <clears throat> I've got a PD that needs some fixing gotta break out that Omega catalog can't get a base plate for a Lemmy yeah yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm I mean, still hunting for that part so we'll see yeah I mean you can't you can't yeah, argue that this is a unique looking watch a uh, uh, little bit of stretch in my bracelet yeah which is but, it doesn't have a lot of it doesn't have a lot of signs of wear on it, which... Uh, which is strange, so you, right? Maybe it's not a lot of stretch. Maybe it's just how... Jingly jangly? It could just be how it was. Yeah. It looks... I mean, it practically looks new. Yeah, it's in pretty great condition. Uh, the reason I have this on me is uh, I come out to L.A., had a handful of watches that needed some fixing, and uh, brought it straight into the shop. It's second time around watch company. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, John. Thank you, Amore, for, uh, you know, having some fun with me. We shot some videos and worked on some watches. All I really needed for this was a pin to put the uh, bra integrated bracelet. I uh, No chance of swapping anything else on the Nada. Yeah. Although maybe a uh, Bulgari diagonal. It does have the same kind of relief cutout for it. You'd have to monkey but, it. I mean, but yeah. you know what, I'm not taking it off bracelet because the reason I had to bring this in uh, is I took it off originally and I bent the pin uh, that was holding it in. So. Uh, big shout out to Second Time Around Watch Company for sorting me out on that. They fixed it for me. So it's a unique pin, even? No. no. It's just, well, yes, but Second Time Around, you know, they deal in uh, vintage watches. Mm. So you're not going to find a pin for a Teutonic in the Omega catalog mm. uh, to get from a, then you have to go to a, you know, a vintage shop who takes care of business, who takes care of the weird ones, the wild cards. So why did I buy this piece? I don't remember. I've had it for weird. a while. Because what? Because it's weird. Because I thought she said I was weird. No. Uh, no. My mom called me weird once. I mean. Yeah. Then she had to say, she had left me a voicemail apologizing. Uh, love you, Linda. Uh, you was a good mom. And uh, no, it is weird, but 
I think I was going through a period of really, like, I forget how I even found it. Because mm. it's, it's called the Teutonic. It was only released in the German market, as I understand. And in truth... That makes sense. The Fiddy version is a little more wearable uh, than this one. And that was also German only? That's my understanding. Yeah. It is funny how various watch producers will... You know, usually it's you see it happening in the in JDM. There's a lot of uh, specific to Japan releases. Yeah, I mean the Germans they have a unique kind of design aesthetic too. Yeah. Um, I mean I, I actually don't mind. You wear it well. I, you, I can get you a good price. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, like I don't think it needs to be necessarily thinner. I, I just probably wouldn't wear it not my style. Yeah, it's not your thing. No, but it is, I mean, it's, it's, it's unique. I actually got a replacement bracelet for it, but it's the one for the fitty. Mm, and it doesn't fit. It doesn't fitty. Wow. Yeah. It's like, it's a little too small at the end. I could probably have uh, Leo monkey it to grind get it. it. No, grind it down. No, he needs to take off the end. He needs to take the top link off of this, put it on the better bracelet, and then put it on. Uh, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that, that bracelet. Oh, nothing wrong I don't think it's, I, I honestly don't think it's... Uh, I'm 50. Yeah. I like to kick, stretch, and kick. This thing is stretched. But oh well. No, it's got some charm to it. Yeah. And uh, who knows, maybe it's for someone. If you're interested in this watch, hit me up. Maybe <laughs> I'll cut you the friendship deal and I'll give you the friend price. But until then, making for a pretty good wild card watch, my man. Yeah. No doubt about it. No doubt. Just don't wear it on Tuesday because it wants you to die on Tuesday. All right. That's about it for this one. Thank you for coming on the ride. Hope that wherever you are in this wonderful, beautiful hobby of ours, that you are blessed, you're doing well, and that you're enjoying uh, enjoying some rare bird watches, some wild card watches, right? Yeah. We will catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey, you didn't have to call me back, but you know what? I want to apologize for calling you weird. You're not weird. Uh, you're just very intelligent and different in whatever. So anyway, I apologize for that. I think it kind of bothers you a bit. But uh, I don't know if you're coming over tomorrow or not, but I'm not going anywhere. So good night.